welcome back to my channel i am so sorry i didn't get a video out last week i was just run off my feet well anyway this week i am making sour cream and some cream cheese so if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing as we're bringing out new content all the time so let's jump into this vlog all right guys i am using this book Mastering Basic Cheese Making. This is fantastic. It's really good. It's got loads and loads of cheeses in. So I'm going to be using that. And this book actually recommends this Flora Danica culture. It is on the pricey side, but then it all does go a long way. And I keep mine in the freezer usually. So. Like this, a mesophilic, yes, a mesophilic aromatic culture. It's freeze dried. So, in my pot, I have um, the recipe calls for two litres of what would be half and half or light cream. I've got single cream here in the UK, so I've used that it's not a litre I used I've got about 800 millilitres of cream and 200 millilitres of whole milk because I know that will do in a pinch because I need the other cream for the sour cream so what it says is we're to heat this cream until it reaches room temperature 68 Fahrenheit 72 Fahrenheit to 20 to 22 Celsius and then we remove it from the heat so let me find my thermometers I have several thermometers I've got a gun type one I have one like this this one works really well but I do prefer the gun because it means I haven't got to try and attach it to the to the source button. Sorry, I'm trying to think at the same time then. All right, it's reg registering 17. So we've got to get that to uh, 17 Celsius, I should have said. And we've got to get that to 20 to 22. And while I'm doing that, I'm also going to get my timer out ready. Right, let's check the temperature. 19. So we're getting there. Let's see where we are. There we are, 21. So we pull it off. Pull you down. Get our culture. Now it says one. Two, Sixteenth of a teaspoon that is for two litres so I've got to go even less than that so it's literally just like a few granules there's so much I'm putting in it's probably doesn't need all of that but. there we are now we're to leave that to sit for three to five minutes so I'm going to turn my timer on. Got three minutes. I'm going to start. And what I will do is I will bring you back when it's time to move to the next stage. Okay, that's been sat there for three minutes. And now it says using a ladle, stir gently for one minute.
after that we're going to add in the rennet which I will get just in a sec my lamb's just going to go off right and I do use animal rennet and it says one drop in an eighth of a cup that is for the that is for the um two litre it says non-chlorinated water which is why I've just thrown my water out and I've got bottled water and of course I've got half everything so mine works out to be about a tablespoon of water and one drop of rennet that was two that's fine it will either work or it won't this is I haven't used this recipe before tip that in Stir that again. Okay, after this step, we've just got to let it ripen and coagulate. So that's what we're going to do for this one. What I'm going to do is throw a tea towel over the top to try and keep it warm. And I'm going to move it to the side. Bring enough near my dehydrator, which will help it because it's nice and warm. And then I've got to get another saucepan to do the cream. Okay, now for the cream. This is for the sour cream. So the cream cheese is going to have to ripen and coagulate and that is uh, 12 to 24 hours so it'll be ready by tomorrow morning because it's 25 past 3 in the afternoon now so it'll be ready tomorrow morning and this also needs to ripen and thicken too There we are with that. That's about 400 mils. Okay. Move you back over. Put that back on. And then I've got to find my sour cream recipe. Sour cream. There we are. That took a minute to try and find that. I went all over the place in the book. So with this, 
we've got to heat this up with a medium heat until it reaches 86 Fahrenheit or 30 centigrade. So, um, goodness me. You guys, dogs. <laughs> anyway, so we've got to get this up to 30 degrees. Let's have a see. We're on 22. And for this it says 500 mils of heavy cream or light cream. So We're slightly less than that, but that's fine. Let's have a check. Okay, that's got to come off. That went up to 31, which is fine. I'll let it cool a second. Okay. That is about 30. Now we're going to, it says quarter teaspoon. I'm probably just going to go high of that because I haven't quite got 500 mils. Let's see how much I can get on my spoon. Sprinkle that on. Let's pour that out. Pull that out first. Let that sit for three to five minutes. Again, I'm going to set my alarm and I will bring you back yet again when that has been sitting. Okay, that has been sat for four minutes. Now, so now we've got a stir, and that says stir gently for two to five minutes. I've just set my timer. I've got it for three minutes. I always try to go somewhere in the middle. this we're going to pour it into a nice clean jar I've got just a mason jar There are a lot of other cheeses I'd like to try, so maybe I'll bring you along for some of them at some point. I've also got to do the £1.50 pantry challenge today. And bring you back tomorrow when the cheese will be ready to go on the next step, the cream cheese will be ready to go to the next stage and then 20 seconds left get my spatula ready Now 
now we're going to pour this into a jar. It's nice and clean. still see some bits on the top they haven't dissolved I'm just going to pull those bits out I think they were the bigger crystals these dry bits alright let's give it Right. Okay. Now put this on. This is about twelve hours it will take for this. And what I do is I always wrap it in a tea towel like that, and I'll put that by the side of the dehydrator as well. And that helps keep it warm. And now, the £1.50 pantry challenge. Let's have a look, what have we got? Okay. If you don't know why I do the £1.50 pantry challenge, I will try to link up in the iCards, up here somewhere, a video I did explaining about the £1.50 pantry challenge. But I believe the way of the world is right now, I think everyone should be making a pantry. Um, it's not going to hurt no one. And I'm trying to show that you can do it on such a small amount. It doesn't have to be a lot in one go. I've been doing this for, I don't know, like three or four years now. And towards the end of the year, I pull out everything that we've put by on these £1.50s and show you how much food we actually got on just £1.50 for almost a year. So in this £1.50 pantry challenge we do do convenience foods, we do sweet treats, we do paracetamol, ibuprofen, plasters, bandages, deodorant, toothbrush, toothpaste, mouthwash, tins of food, single ingredients, you name it, we do the lot from A to Z. So, this week's £1.50, which is from Tesco's, it is normally from Tesco's that I get it, but sometimes, just sometimes, I'll shop somewhere else and get it. But this week is from Tesco's, and we have a Hearty Food Co. Tomato and Herb Pasta Sauce, great pasta sauce base. You can jazz it up or leave it as is and a Hartley's blackcurrant jelly so that is this week's £1.50 pantry challenge okay just before I go to bed I was checking my my sour cream and that is already nice and thick let's show you lovely that's now going to go in my fridge I have checked the cream cheese As you can see it's a fingerprint there and that is thickening up lovely too so I will bring you back in the morning and hopefully that cream cheese is ready to go but the sour cream is now done and here is the cream cheese. I've just got it straining in a bag. I forgot to turn my phone on to show you, but I dipped out the pan in it into a cheesecloth or butter muslin. And now it's just straining and it says 
and to keep it warm which I've just put it next to the dehydrator again and every two to three hours I am to scrape the sides down um, so it doesn't block the drainage and then after 12 hours it should be the texture of thick pudding if not continue straining the cheese until I've got it to the desired texture so we will see how this goes so um, I'm gonna go and place that now over here and we will see what happens several hours later and this is our cream cheese looking still needs to drain a bit more but I wanted to show you so that's looking good let me see if I can open the if you can still see this way coming out let's open the sour cream and I'll show you how thick and creamy that has come out look at that guys look at that that is absolutely delicious as you can see this is coming on lovely so what i will do is i will bring you back when it is all done okay cream cheese has finished straining so i'm going to put that into a bowl because we've got to add some salt About that As you can see that is a lovely texture got to mix that fully okay that has been salted mixed well and put in a clean dish and that tastes absolutely fantastic that tastes better than philadelphia so now we're going to put that in the fridge and we will consume that within i think it's about seven days usually so that's it for this one guys I hope you've enjoyed it if you did please give it the big thumbs up hit that subscribe button ring that notification bell that way you will never miss a video so until next time guys bye and take care